The goal here is to burn the wood at a very high temperature while limiting oxidation and reducing smoke production. I use a version of what's called the Contiki method, which is just where you dig a cone-shaped hole in the ground that is a few feet deep and then three feet across. And then it slopes down, forming a cone shape. The general approach here is to add layers of material to the top of the fire before the lower pieces of wood turn to ash. The moment that I see the white ash films start to appear on the surface of the wood, I'm adding more feed. And as that new layer ignites and burns at the surface, the lower layer is deprived of oxygen and chars. The sloping walls reflect and concentrate radiant heat back into the pit. This means that at the very top, there's lots of oxygen. It's burning really hot. Just below the flames, there's little oxygen. And this is where the process called pyrolysis occurs. All of this results in a clean burn, meaning that there is little smoke being produced because the volatile gases are being burned and carbon is being retained. 